Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for from now, you know it's mid-October, this is going to be your mid-October reading. I'm sorry I'm so behind, I'm trying to catch up, but here we are. Typically my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um... It may not be for you. This reading is for somebody. Not everybody. When a card falls out, I think it's really important to take the card. I've noticed a lot of readers picking them back up and putting them in the deck. And I I, I don't know. I don't I don't feel like that's the right thing to do. I feel like if... I, and even one card at a time, it's like they pick it up and they put it back in the deck. But that, some, some... I mean, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be judging them, but I am. You know, if it falls out, it falls out for a reason. Anyway, um, these three fell out. So this is for Aquarius. Some sort of, I mean, the world card reverse is some sort of lesson not learned yet. There's something is incomplete. Somebody needs to take action. And now this is a, this is love. This is an offer of love or opening your heart to love. So you could be offering love or receiving an offer of love. There's definitely some flirting going on, perhaps. But there's something that is incomplete here. Uh-oh. With the moon card, something isn't being clearly seen. <coughs> there's something going on behind the scenes. That's what this is. There's something you don't know. There's a secret. Okay, there's a secret here. There's, you don't know the whole story. That's what I'm trying to say. Somebody is not coming clean with the whole truth. All right, so just keep that in mind. Oh, heavy. There's a heaviness. Thinking about walking away. Right now you're in the process of... You're either thinking about walking away from something, you're thinking about taking action, or you're thinking about going back. But I, for some of you, I think it's a thinking about closing a chapter because this is the very last card in the deck it's where somebody's been through a long-term situation you know whether it was schooling marriage long relationship something that's long okay the world is it took a while to get to this last card you went through a lot of experiences okay with the whatever the situation is it wasn't nothing that was short-lived okay it was a long-term project per se or phase in your life that hasn't completely ended that you're thinking about you know, taking action and, and releasing it because it's so heavy. It's overwhelming. And this could be self-love. Opening your heart. It's like, you know, I have so much love to give. Moving on. So, yeah, you, that's what this is. This is transition. This is moving on to a better place. I think right now you're confused. You're probably fearful. You know, fearful of the unknown. But wanting to move on. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you could be really focusing on your money at this time. Um, maybe you, you're dealing with a man that is stable and secure, but it's not love. That could be the case. I mean, you could be staying with somebody just for the financial stability of it, right? Maybe it's financially stable, but it's it's... The stress that it's causing, the anxiety, the heaviness, the the burdens that it comes with are, are too heavy, right? Okay, it's too heavy. It's like you're at a point of collapsing, but it maybe it's stable. It's stable. Um, yeah, it's like you don't, this commitment, it's like this commitment, and this could be work-related as well. It could be, especially with this card. You may be staying in a situation that is stable, like materialistically stable, asset wise it's stable, financially it's stable, but as far as you feeling emotionally fulfilled, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't. I feel like you don't really feel you're not really content in this situation. I feel as though you know, maybe you need to let your friends help you during this time. 
you 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 probably want to get out there and have some fun and open up and you know lighten up and just you get back with your friends and you probably want to you know have a more lighter side of things you're probably wanting to you know just be happy but you can't because you're in some sort of commitment whether it's job or family that is holding you back and it's holding you back because of financial reasons by the looks of things now let me get a couple more cards let me make sure this is focused Somebody is thinking about walking away from a marriage. This is, like I said, this will not resonate with every single person. They're thinking about walking away from a marriage or a commitment. Wanting to get out there. I just want to, I just want to, I, I want to go. I'm looking for more, you know, I want to have fun. I want to have fun. I want to get my playful side back. You know, I want to go, I want to be happy. You know, I just want to be happy. So some of somebody that's watching this is wanting to get out of a a long-term commitment. I'm sorry, that's what this is. Now, that's not for everybody. For some of you, this is job-related, it's work-related, and the burdens, it's overwhelming. It's like you're dealing with somebody that is really pushing you, okay? Really, really... doesn't have good intentions. You're dealing with somebody who is nasty, okay? Just saying. Whether in both situations, I mean, in, in this guy right here is somebody that doesn't care. They don't care how you feel. They don't care if you're overwhelmed. They don't care if you're sick. They don't care if you're anything, okay? They don't. You're dealing with a person here that doesn't have, doesn't feel for you. You know what I mean? Does that have feelings that it's not love anyway? You guys are in a situation that is based on security and stability and not love, period. I mean, whether it's a job or not, it's not. Whether it's a job or your relationship, it's it's overwhelming for you and it's causing you illness. You know, and it's not because that's what stress does. Stress causes illness. And I feel like right now, you know, you're giving your all to it. You're like, you're, oh my goodness, you are. It's like you're, I think this is you taking on this energy of the Queen of Cups, putting in your all, you know, trying to be compassionate, trying to be kind, trying to, you know, do everything in your power to make it work. But no matter what you do, you're dealing with a person that is like taking advantage of you. I'm sorry and it's time for you to make wake up and make that judgment call this is awakening this is wake up wake up wake up this is this is receiving that truth you know um receiving that epiphany that says okay what are you gonna do here's the truth do you believe it do you see it do you get it wake up that that card is a card of awakening You guys are getting some sort of a wake-up call. Something is being revealed. Some sort of revelation. Mm. You know, Aquarius, I feel like you have another opportunity. You have another opportunity that is waiting for you. I feel like somebody is, or whether this is job or relationship, there's another opportunity that ha that could have more excitement, more growth, more passion, and more romance. And if this is job related, more emotionally fulfillment. You know, and this is about listen listen to your intuition. I mean you're into it and first of all I have to tell you, I don't know if I mentioned it. I wait for that vehicle to go by. My apologies. This, your intuition is, is telling you what to do. So when you receive this epiphany, this wake-up call, it's probably going to come via your thoughts, okay? Your intuition, your inner knowing, all right? And I think that you are going to come to some sort of revelation that you are involved in a situation that isn't healthy for you. 
whether it's job or relationship wise and you are probably going to take action to take that mask off and accept the truth to stop blocking the truth so I, I feel like you guys, because that upright, this is denial, right? It's reverse. It's, it's like, no, I see the truth. I see the truth. So I also have to say that I believe that there's another offer waiting. I don't know if I said that because of the whatever it was that went by. But I think there's another offer waiting for you. And it's a welcome offer. And I think it's a very playful offer. And, and you guys, I think that you guys are looking for that playfulness. You're looking to bring that playfulness back that's been lost. I do think that there's been some flirting or there you could be, you could have somebody new that's in your life that has been flirting with you and you like it. It's playful. It's, it's fun, you know, but you haven't closed one chapter yet because of fear, fear of the unknown. But it's time for you to defend yourself. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. It's time for you to put yourself back on top. Because if you don't put yourself on top, nobody else is going to. I mean, with this moon card, there's definitely some fears. There is some fears here. Not as all as it seems with the moon card. Not as all as it seems. You have to trust that once you move on, you will find happiness. But you're going to have to stand up for yourself. This is stand up for yourself, move on. From fear. Now, the world card is always a lesson. And this is about denial. You're delaying the... You're all... This is just... That's all you're doing. You're delaying this closure when you could... Defend yourself and move on. This is act now, think later. You're receiving the truth. You know the truth. You do know the truth. That you deserve love. I feel like you may be receiving some messages from somebody that is pretty, you know, it's playful. It's it's good. It's, it's fun. It's the direction that you want to go in, but you have to close one chapter first. Yeah, there is an offer of love here. And I think that it's new love. I think that it's new love, but you guys are in some sort of contract now that needs to be completed. So I feel like this is a time where there's an opportunity. If you're single, if you are single, you, you could be receiving some messages from somebody. Okay, If you're single, completely single, and you're on your own, be prepared to receive some sort of loving texts, messages, um, communication from somebody that is really wants to have fun with you. They're very attracted to you, um, but you may you may be blocking this person. You it looks like I mean, this is a blockage, delaying it, delaying love. I mean, so you may be blocking this person for because you haven't received the closure from the past. I mean. Somebody hasn't received the, they haven't closed that door. They, they're still in some sort of commitment that they don't want to be in. So if you are single, you may be still holding on to the past. You know, this is release. Release the past. You know, this could even be a reconciliation. Maybe, maybe you're holding on to the thought that you're going to have a reconciliation with somebody. I don't know. But I really feel like there's a new offer coming in here with somebody that, This is a, no, it's delayed. This new offer is, this is totally not, 
because of this person. There's an offer. There's an there is there is love. There there's playfulness. There's playfulness. Let's say that there's playfulness that could lead to love. But you're still committed to something that. is blocking because these are both you're blocking love you're blocking love because you're in some sort of commitment that needs to end i mean you need to this is transition move out move out of it you need to stand up for yourself so that you can ha get the set love that you deserve oh my goodness and this is illusion and confusion and fear so you guys are afraid of the unknown. You're afraid to move on. You're delaying it when there's an opportunity for love. I mean, you can only delay it for so long. Okay. It's going to break down. I feel like there's some sort of breakup that needs to happen, whether this is at work or at, or at home. And whether you're single and you've broken up, but you're still holding on, you ain't broken up yet. You know what I'm saying? There's some sort of false foundation, false commitment, false whatever that is holding somebody back from true love. And I'm that's what this is. And you're trying to avoid disaster, trying to avoid upheaval. I don't want to deal with this. Well... It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Whether Probably not this week because you're still, you're still delaying it. I mean, we have a lot of delays here. You're trying to delay it. You're doing everything in your power. Yeah, you're probably flirting with somebody else. You're probably having feelings and it's fun and all that. But you have to make the cut. You have to make the cut. You have to really love yourself enough to wake up. You deserve love. You deserve true love. You deserve playfulness. You deserve fun. You deserve to have somebody love you. But your the thing is, is that there's always lessons that we need. And this is a lesson. This is a this is a lesson, okay? But it's reversed. There's always lessons that we need to learn along the way before we can get to the the extreme happiness and the next one, whatever. It's hard to explain, but you know what I'm trying to say. There's a lesson that hasn't been learned yet because you have to find the strength. To defend yourself. To take the mask off. To stop being in denial. You have to do that. You have to prove that you are strong enough to face your fears. Otherwise, you'll continue to struggle. And live with whoever this person is that is overwhelming you. It's too burdened, making you sick. It's like, oh my God. You keep bringing me down. You're so unhappy. You know, this, you're, you've got a person under here that doesn't have good intentions for you but you're hanging on to it because it's what you know right it's what you know when there's a new opportunity for love if you could learn the lesson of strength and trust and listening listening to your intuition listening to your inner guide those are all lessons that need to be learned So that Knight of, of Wands is act now, think later, take action. Eventually it's going to break down anyway. Why, why? Keep walking on eggshells. Why? Once you take action and move on, this card will this card will flip around. It will. Lesson will be learned and you will start on your new chapter towards victory, towards success. You'll have a major new beginning right in front of you after you move on. But right now the fear is holding you back and you are going to have to stand up for yourself. So this is a I feel like right now, this is a time where you're probably receiving some sort of messages and some flirty communication or whatever from somebody, but you can't act on it because you, or you're not acting on it because of somebody that is still in the picture. 
So that's what I see. So Aquarius, I do believe that if you are completely single, you could meet somebody at some sort of celebration. If you go out with friends, if you go out with your friends, you could meet somebody. Um, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, But right now, it really looks like it's delayed. It really looks like any future with this new person is delayed. It really does. Because it feels like you are needing to wake up. I mean, that's what this is. You need to wake up. You deserve love, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. There's definitely some secrets here. I think you guys want out. You want out of a situation. Or you're still holding on to the past. You're holding on to the hopes of a reconciliation with somebody. And I think there's somebody new. I think there's somebody new for here. But it, the, the, the universe can't bring them in. Because you have you won't allow that last that cycle. Whatever it is to complete. I mean. It's time to move on. Defend yourself. Stand up for yourself. Stop holding on to a, a false foundation. You, this shit ain't built stable. It ain't going to work. It's not. Miracles. Expect the wondrous emerge. Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. <laughs> It's the truth. It's the truth. Release fear and uncertainty. I can't make this shit up, okay? And majestic wonders wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. Trust that all is unfolding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. What is expected tends to be realized. The more you become aware of small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish them when they appear, no matter how small they may seem. What others see as ordinary, the sacred traveler sees as wondrous. Look at your life in a new way. Let go of fear and allow the Creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. Don't limit the way you think miracles can appear in your life. All is well. When somebody new shows up in your life, there's usually a reason for that. Talk to you next time. And thank you for your patience, Aquarius.